With the latest release of tvOS 9.2 for the 4th gen Apple TV, the set-top box now works with Bluetooth keyboards. While you may think that you need one of Apple's wireless keyboards, the truth is you can pair it up to pretty much any Bluetooth keyboard. So in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. Older Apple TVs have been able to pair and use Bluetooth keyboards for a while. The new tvOS version gives the newer Apple TV the same privilege. But keep in mind, if you've got the latest Magic Keyboard, it will only work with the newer Apple TV. To set this up, you'll need to put your keyboard into Discovery or Pairing mode. This varies somewhat depending on the keyboard. For example, if you're using an Apple wireless keyboard, the little LED blinks when it's in Pairing mode. On most non-Apple Bluetooth keyboards, Pairing mode is enabled with a long press on the power button. Now head into your Apple TV settings. For the newest 4th generation Apple TV, click on the Settings app, then select Remotes and Devices, then Bluetooth. Your Apple TV will then search for any nearby Bluetooth accessories in pairing mode. Select your keyboard and click on it. If you're asked, enter the four digit code on the screen with your keyboard, then press Return. Once connected, you can type into any field that allows text entry with your connected keyboard, including search, username, email and password fields. Navigate menus on the Apple TV with the arrow, return and escape keys. Jump to any item, tile or name on the screen by typing in the first few letters of that item. When you're viewing your movie collection for example, you can type in the name of that film to jump to that title. If your keyboard has play, pause, rewind or fast forward keys on it, they might work to control your music and videos. Give it a try. If you're using the latest, greatest Apple made Magic Keyboard, you'll be able to use shortcuts to do cool things such as quickly switching between apps using F3 and using F7 and F9 to go to the home screen. Well, that's it for this video. If you'd like a full list of all the shortcuts available, I'll leave a link down in the description below to the written post. Also, if you enjoyed this video, help us out to smash that like button down below, and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac, including the unboxing for the new iPhone SE and new iPad Pro. I'm Steve Smith with Cult of Mac, and I'll catch you in the next one.